Welcome back everyone. We're hearing the sounds of cicadas. I know you are. They seem like they're everywhere. Yes, snakes and other reptiles will eat cicadas when they're around, but there's so much more to learn about these noisy creatures in this week's Next to Nature. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Next to Nature this week. Joining me, Dr. John Long, as always, and you can probably hear what we're talking about mm. this week, cicadas. Everybody's talking about it. They're out, and these are, I don't know, what would you call them, the special kind? Because well, they only come around every once in a while? I, I would call them very special. Um, it, And I was telling you earlier, that to me it's a time of like really a lot of excitement a lot of people don't like them but i do is uh, i love insects so anyway there you go there you go <laughs> so i have a little affinity for them but anyway it's always a happy time for me to hear them emerge in mass and hear all this sound and but then i keep reminding myself it's eventually going to go away type thing and so when yeah. they start dying down it's like i feel kind of sad because you don't get to hear them again until 13 more years so uh, so that's a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a bummer. Of, yeah, but, a little uh, bit. For me, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of May, first of June, is that what you told me earlier? Somewhere yeah, you'll, in that time frame. Right, you'll start hearing them. You know, they emerge in May, so about four to eight weeks is a lifespan. So you'll just start start to hear them, start to hear them die down around, you know, June or early July. So. Mm -hmm. No now, one prominent. way you can tell if you have these cicadas, A, you'll have more of them if you have woods around. That's right. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman the other day, and he was saying, well, I don't hear that many around my house. And then a, a, another gentleman that was standing next to him says, well, I, I, you know, I can't even hardly think I'm hearing so many of them. And come to find out, the gentleman that was not hearing them doesn't live in a heavily wooded area. The other gentleman did, and as you can see behind us, there's a lot of a lot of trees, a lot of woods, and that's where they're making their sound. So. And if you'll go walk around your property and look, you'll see these tiny holes right. in that's the right. ground. That's right. And that's the cicadas coming out. It right? is. It is. Uh, Thirteen years ago, <clears throat> a, a female cicada laid an egg in a tree branch, and when that egg hatched and a nymph emerged it dropped to the ground and it found its way under the ground to the underneath the to a tree the roots of a tree and that's where it's been for 13 years just living off tree roots and one of the the another amazing thing i could talk about them all day but another amazing thing if you think about it they've been in the dark for that long i mean they have no sunlight and then all of a sudden after 13 years they come up out of the ground and what do they see sunlight and they have all these experiences, you know, touching things that they've never even been around. They've never seen a tree, for that matter. But you know, that's the way nature is. That's the way it takes care of itself. A, so. a cicada fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, it is. I guess <laughs> cicadas have been around a long time, and they're in all type of architecture and in ancient times. And so, yeah, it's not just our t lifetime they're living in. So. All right, let's take a closer look at these cicadas. Mm -hmm. Show us what is actually making that sound with the cicada. Okay, so if you hold the abdomen back and you can see, I'll try to do this the best I can. This is a live one. You see those organs right in there. And basically they're a mu muscle that contracts, expands and contracts. Mm -hmm. And they'll do that. and it's called a tympanum, tympatic membrane and what happens is is it vibrates uh, up to 120 to 480 times a, a second wow. so if you get you can imagine there's millions out there right now that if you get that type of vibration that's why it's a constant sound it's just vibrating so much and then you have so many out there mil millions of them out there this is what's left after the cicada right. has sort of lived its useful purpose that's right? right that's correct um and you can find those almost on your back porch anywhere everywhere right? absolutely everywhere they're crunching under your feet there's so many of them um and basically what that is is like you said it's the the shell of the adult that and you can notice that the split in the back once that uh insect matures and it's like a snake skin it splits they emerge as a, a semi-hardened um adult and once they harden and and fully uh, 
are ready to fly off, then that's when, when that occurs. But it's a, it's a stage in which they emerge from it and uh, then go on about the rest of the life cycle. You have some live ones here yeah. right. inside this jar. Right. And they're out. They're not singing for us just yet, are they? I don't know if I can, one of them was pretty noisy this morning, and that is not the one. That... You can hear it. So imagine that times a million. Yep. Yeah. And that's what you're hearing. Right. And that's what, exactly what you're hearing. Um, so a lot of people... Sorry, it gets louder if you... Oh, wow, yeah, it does. When you peel it back, you can actually hear it. That is crazy. So a lot of people, whenever these cicadas come out, they start worrying about their trees, their flowers, all right. of that. But that's not really what the cicada's purpose is. No, the, the cicada's purpose is simply to emerge from the ground. You'll see them attached to trees. You'll see them attached to flowers, but no concern. They're here to do their life cycle, and, and they do it just as quick as they can. And, basically, and their main purpose at this time is just to mate and carry on the species. So. And then they're done. They're so. done. They become bird prey. <laughs> and let me tell you, the birds are loving it right now. So. Uh, okay, so yeah. that is a big source of food for yes. birds. Right. I don't think I knew that. Yep, a big right. source of them. And the, another thing you may see is what's known as cicada killer. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a large wasp. And it's, uh, it's kind of a yellow, black and yellow. And uh, it has a little orange on the, on the uh, thorax. But you'll see those, and, and they're noticeable. So if you if you see one, it's a large wasp like that. It's more than likely not a hornet. Uh -huh. It's going to be a cicada killer. Interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're learning new stuff here every week yeah, with Dr. To. Long <laughs> on Next to Nature. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. We'll see you back here next week. Mm -hmm.